That's right, guys. Finally got my hands on a Smith & Wesson M&P 22. A lot of you guys wanted me to do a review on this pistol. You asked my opinion on it, and uh, I couldn't give you an honest opinion. I never shot one. A couple weeks ago, I was in a gun shop called uh, Clarksville Guns and Archery in Clarksville, Tennessee, and the owner is familiar with my channel, and he asked if I wanted to do a review with his M&P 22 pistol. So I was like, sure. So this is not the store's pistol. It's actually his. So there's a few cool things about this pistol that I really, really like. Let me shoot it a few more times and I'll go over those. Like I said, Smith & Wesson M&P 22. One thing I like about it, it has a 12 round magazine. This is the only magazine I have with this pistol. It does have a 12 round magazine, unlike your Ruger Mark Series pistols or your SR22 or your uh, 22A, which have a 10 round magazine. This has a 12 round magazine. Now, this pistol is almost identical to the 9mm. I'm going to be showing you a video right about now that I had this right beside a 9mm Smith & Wesson um, pistol and you know they're almost identical. The only difference, main difference that I saw is, well actually felt, was actually the weight. The 22 of course is going to be much lighter and the 9mm is going to be heavier just because the internal parts, you know, to uh, chamber a 9mm and, and and help with the, uh, the weight and the controllability and to beef it up to shoot the 9mm round. Uh, that's, that's the reason why the 9mm is of course a little bit heavier. But the 22A, excuse me, not the 22A, the uh, M&P 22, it is a little bit lighter, it's the same length, it's the exact same grip. Um, you know, you've got, your, you've got your slide release, it's ambi, it's on both sides. I do not have a cameraman today, so this is kind of awkward. It does, on this side right here, it has the magazine release. And there's a place over here. I think you can swap them out on both sides. I'm not for sure. I haven't taken all that apart to find out if you can do it or not. But that is, uh, you can, I think you can swap them out. Now, the thing is about the sights. The sights are exactly the same. You do have adjustments for elevation only. It, is not, it does not have windage um, adjustments on it. It does have your tack rail for putting, uh, you know, your flashlight or your laser or, of course, nunchucks, ninja stars, or a bow staff. But it's a pretty good shooter. It's got the exact same trigger feel of the 9mm. Uh, I shot both of them. I don't have it on film, but I shot both of them side by side, and it's the exact same. Of course, 9mm has a lot more recoil. The thing is about the sight that I have found on this pistol that I had to bog or tighten the sight all the way down um, and I'm still shooting about four inches high uh, this is about 30 feet or so so I don't <coughs> excuse me I don't know what all that's about but I've got the sight always down so I'm aiming at the bottom of these targets and you know I'm hitting them but I, I don't know if it's something wrong with this particular sight or if they all come like that um, let me shoot it a few more times It shoots pretty good. It's pretty accurate. I put it on a piece of paper and of course I'm shooting probably four inches below where I want to hit and it grew pretty good at 30 feet. Uh, you know, I'm missing a lot because <laughs> I'm getting in a big hurry, but I like it. I like it a lot. Now, I will say that I did have a few problems with it with certain kind of ammo. I'm shooting just your regular Federal Champion bulk pack ammo. A 36 grain jacketed hollow point and I've only had one failure to feed with this stuff the other day I shot it and I was using the blazer 40 grain bolt pack and I'll tell you what I was having a lot of problems with it now that may be just this particular pistol but 
I don't know. I've talked, I had probably out of 50 rounds, I think I had eight failure to feeds. But with this federal, it does pretty good. Now, as I say that, watch, I have some first time feed problems. All right, the first thing you want to do is make sure the pistol is unloaded and the magazine is out, which it is. Now, this pistol does have a magazine disconnect, so if the magazine is out, it will not fire. First thing you do, take this lever and you pull it down, and then you want to take it about halfway out. Once you take it about halfway out, you can just simply pull it back and pick up on the slide and everything comes out. Now this is about as far as you want to take this pistol down. Uh, you can do all your cleaning inside of here and of course you can clean your slide. It's very simple to take apart. Now putting it back together is the exact same way but everything has to match up. There you go. And you simply press that in and turn it. Good to go. Another thing that I like about this pistol is that it points well in my hands. Now, not all pistols point well in people's hands, but this particular one is pretty good. I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, my hands naturally come up on target. It just points well in my hands. I kind of like it. All right, my final thoughts on the Smith & Wesson m and 22. I like it, I like it a lot. Now, am I gonna rush out and buy one right now? Probably not. If I didn't already own over 40 22s, I would probably go buy one. Um, you know, especially if I wanted to get a nine millimeter Smith & Wesson m and You know, I would get that pistol and this pistol also and train with this one and uh, also shoot the 9mm. Now you also have to be careful if you own both of these pistols this pistol should not take the place of you practicing with your 9mm carry gun um, you know because there is a weight difference and there's also a recoil difference and to be honest with you the sights are not going to be exactly the same but it will make for a good training pistol if you want to put it from the holster and, and practice drawing either for concealed or from open carry this pistol is perfect for that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been informative. And if you have any questions, you can check me out on Facebook or Twitter. You can ask me those questions there. I'll put the links uh, to both of those sites in the description below. Y'all be safe and keep linking.